Here we are back again. This whole thing kind of looks familiar. Seems like I've been here and done this before. <laughs> if you saw the other video, I was just working on the other side of that deck on the exact same unit. So here's the little Janitrol twin sitting over here. Same exact setup. Same model material. You know, 95 here. Looks good. Hole has been well maintained. She just had all these rocks put down here, so this is very nice. I like that. It used to be kind of sloppy and muddy. Um, this lady doesn't use her air conditioning as much, so her pressures are running a little bit higher. On the other unit, we were sitting around 68, 69, and 205. So see, we're just a little bit higher here. But super heat was running around nine degrees. About 54, 53. So yeah, we're sitting about nine degrees. And we got 95 on the discharge. We're sitting more, more like 15 there. Uh, you guys don't have one of these. That's a good find at Harbor Freight. You get one for you know 11 or 12 bucks. When it turns off, it goes back to ambient temperature. But it's just a little one-to-one -one ratio, non-contact thermometer and. That thing is super accurate, man. I will put that thing up against my fluke and my clamp-on field piece probes any day. Right next to each other, they're exactly the same. So if I'm not having an issue with the unit, you know, that's always in my pocket all the time. If I'm gonna need to adjust the charge or something, then I'll go get my electronic thermometer and, you know, throw them on there so I can watch everything as I'm adding the refrigerant. Uh, but that's a super good little Harbor Freight tool there. I love that little thing. But another Janitrol still kicking. Looking good. It will live to cool another day here in Tennessee. Again, thanks for watching, you guys. Leave me a comment below, like, and subscribe, and I will see you the next time.